right, we're going to be talking about how to sell t-shirts on Amazon for leap year 2024. Okay. Now, when it comes to thinking about entering any type of niche and trying to rank on the front page of Amazon for any product, you know, you have to do your research and understand what's going on. Okay. What are selling on these t-shirts? Okay. So I have a list of different t-shirts that we're going to go over and we're just going to just knock those out real fast. And then we're going to go into keywords. And the goal is for me to provide as much value to you as possible so you can create a top selling t-shirt on Amazon for leap year. Okay. And this is really, really important. And leap year comes around every four years. So keep that in mind too as well. And let's get into this. So first t-shirt design is, oh, the real, the rarity of me born February 20. Nine. And if you don't know what leap year is, okay, let me check that out real fast. Let's go ahead and do a, a Google search leap year. What is leap year? What is leap year? Okay. 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 A year occurring, occurring once every four years that has 366 days, including February 29th. Okay. So basically instead of 365 days a year, every four years, there's an extra day included and it's February 29th. Okay. So back over here, first t-shirt design, this is a text base design. Okay. Very simple, nothing too crazy about this, but it's a funny saying. Okay. So one thing I want you to think about when you're looking at this is check out the keywords, look at these keywords that they're using. Okay. You can see how they're using February in a different few ways, right? And then they have birthday and then they have leap year. So, all right, be careful with the word gift. But for the most part, if you're selling on Amazon merch demand or Redbubble, and this applies to any platform, Etsy, you can use these team. Remember, Amazon is the number one selling platform. It's the number one online shopping platform in the world. Okay. So this is where a lot of customers go. So this is probably one of the best places to do research on. Okay. One thing is, like I said, is the keywords to tell you a story. Okay. And this is important because you're like, now you're figuring out, okay, like what's going on? Like, what are the, what's the, what's the trending? What, what, what are people targeting? Okay. Who is, what's, what are people buying? Okay. For this, you know, this day. Okay. So birthday. So birthday is a big thing. Okay. So, but this is a text-based design, very simple, but funny, right? So if they're ranking for these keywords right here, obviously they don't have the name of the, like the, the text of the shirt and the keywords. They're trying to go for more of a bigger, these bigger search volume keywords. Now, if they get a, a top selling shirt, that means they're going to, if they get a shirt with a funny saying and people are liking it, that means they're going to start ranking on the, an algorithm of Amazon and it'd be shown to more customers and it has Amazon choice badge. So obviously it's doing something, right? So keep that in mind. So let's move on to the next one. Leap your birthday. Okay. So you can see how they're doing it here. They're leaving a dash and then, you know, trying to target three long tail keywords in here. Okay. One, two, three, one, two, and three. Okay. Now February 29th is February 29th, a birthday. So awesome. The world can only handle it every, every handle it once every four years. Okay. The world can only, the world can only handle it once every four years. All right. So like we just went over, like what is leap year? They kind of just basically described it in a t-shirt, right? Which is really, really cool. And we come down, check this out. It was listed. So the 30th of 2020. So they listed this for leap year that year. Right. And this is a shirt that's selling every four years, which is interesting because what they're doing is not putting, they're not using the and we're going to get into that too, not using the word 2024 or the year 2024 in the shirt. So it's a leap year They kind of keep it very general, right? And which is, it turns into an kind of like an evergreen niche because it's every four years, every four years, this t-shirts selling, right? So keep that in mind. All right. Now we go down leap year girl. Okay. Like a regular girl, only cooler. See also, see also all knowing about leap year, February 29th. Okay. Now. You can see like, it's like the definition type shirt. And this is something to think about guys, as we're going through all this, like think about the different layouts. Okay. A popular trending layout, right? Can this work for, you know, can, can that layout design layout work for this niche? Yes, it can. Okay. So, but you just got to think about it in a different way. So you can see that we're, you know, this definition t-shirt, of course it's going to work for this, this niche, right? And as you go down, you can see that it's a consistent seller by looking at it. Look at it. It's selling like every, every, yeah, see every single, every single four years, this seems to be selling, right? And it's a text-based shirt. Nothing too crazy about it. Right. Next one. Zero two twenty nine leap year birthday vintage. Okay. So leap year and vintage seem to be working pretty well. And one thing too, as well, just making sure that you're double checking for trademarks or copyright. It's very important that you do that. And that's with anything that you design for. 
Okay, so make sure you, you double check any of that information. I have a few videos going over like trademarks and stuff, and I'll put that down below in the description. But yeah, as you're going through this and you're looking at different ideas, you want to keep in mind like what is it that you can create that can stand out from everyone else right keep that in mind because if you want to rank for a leap year 2024 just leap year shirt in general you got to figure out how you're going to rank on that page all right so let's pretend it's february 29th got another leap year birthday now think of different so we're gonna see in a lot of birthday shirts stuff like that because it's very big people are actually born on that day so keep in mind when you're doing this stuff it's like someone's actually born that day but it's skipped every four years because of the, you know, it, 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 or skipped. Yeah. So it's skipped. And then every four years it comes around. Right. So keep that in mind. It's very important that you understand that. And it's crazy because it's, it's a popular thing. Like if someone's born on this day, they're going to be out celebrating, having fun. And they're going to make it be known on their t-shirt. Like, Hey, check me out. Today is my birthday. And it comes around every four years. So they may, they may, if it, you know, they may celebrate it the 28th just to be safe. Right. But when it's, they're born on the 29th, right. It's, it's something that's <laughs> a big thing. February 29th, best day ever. Best day ever. Okay. Leap year. And then you can see that they didn't, they don't have nothing in here for birthday leap day. Best day ever. Nothing in there for birthday. All right. Simple text base. Loading. Okay. Leap day birthday loading. That loading type of design, which is really cool. So there's like, a, so you've seen this around in a few different niches I have. I'm pretty sure you have too as well. Born between February 28th and March 1st. Cool. You can see what they did being creative with this right here because like I said, the leap year and the, like the concept of it right here. So this is really cool. This is an awesome t-shirt and this can, this is, I can see this selling every single leap year next on leap year miracles born on february 29th we don't age like mer mer mortals mer mortals <laughs> i think i said that right so i think this right here is a special special day yeah. simple text base nothing too crazy about this design you know have a little ribbon type of design right there cool like jersey style february 2029 so jersey style type of uh, design and it seems to be selling sort of so football football style Okay, football style, football style, jersey style, football style. It seems to be selling. Yeah, you can see yeah, that rank on there going. Next one, patiently waiting until 2020, 2024. Okay, for my next birthday, All right? <laughs> now, something like this, you'll be patiently waiting. You'll switch it up to, so 2028, 20, right? 2032, so on and so forth, every four years, right? That's something that you can possibly do when it comes to any of this. Now, for the most part, remember guys, when it comes to doing all this research and, and kind of coming up with ideas, me, personally when it comes to doing research i like to use a airtable spreadsheet like this and i'll have this down below in the description if you guys want to go ahead and make a purchase of this you can see how i use it you know the sayings you know the complete design i added a few things back there once you make a purchase i have two videos back there showing you exactly how to use it but the columns but this is one thing that i use to help my help me help myself <clears throat> hold accountable like hold myself accountable okay to doing the research and the one thing is is like you want to do research for like you know one day or two days out of the week or maybe even you can knock out your whole research in one day right and then basically come back over here and just knock out every single niche or the ideas that you had or the concept that you had for that niche and get it done and this has helped shoot your workflow right and, and this has helped me generate over help me generate over a million dollars in revenue and sales with you know my amazon merch on demand okay and of, of course it's crazy to even you know think about that and you know how many shirts and products i have sold personally myself over the years and just this is what helped this is what actually helped me so keep that in mind now when you come over here and type in leap year 2024 like your goal is to rank on this front page, right? You're going to see a lot of these BSRs, right? They're starting to, they're starting to make sales now, even though it's 2023, they're making sales now. Okay. People are purchasing these products, purchasing this in this niche right now. And, and it's starting to rank. So when it gets closer and closer to that day, it's going to, it's like, we're almost a year, like we're about a year out. Right. And when we get closer and closer to that day, people are going to continue to purchase and these BSRs are going to drop. So if they're at, you know, 600 K right now, they're going to drop way below than that. Guarantee it. Okay. So if you go back and check, you know, let's say eight months from now or six months from now, these BSRs are going to start, you know, you know, be pushing out because it's just a, you know, it's a holiday. It's our, well, it's a, well, it's kind of like, yeah, it's a, it's a leap year, right? It's holiday, whatever you want to call it. It's it, people are buying inside of this niche and which is really cool. 
and you can make some pretty funny t-shirts for that day okay so keep that in mind if you have any questions feel free to let me know one thing i wanted to touch on too as well um you want to keep in mind so leap year 2024 okay how would you rank on this front page you know how, how are you going to stand out for the rest of your competition okay keep that in mind how how are you if there's a thousand competing customers in this niche it says right here 83 results for this actual leap year which is really good but let's say there's you know for leap year this leap year let's say there's over let's try okay let's say for there's 155 results let's say how you how are you going to rank okay you have all this competition how are you going to rank on that front page okay keep that in mind how, you, how, how is that going to be possible for you to rank but like if everyone's doing the same design and they're doing everything that's doing you know everyone's doing the same thing that you're doing right or or, or your competition's doing how are you going to do that one way is to obviously like cross niche right or create a saying that you personally know that's trending right now okay and it can be any type of saying that you can possibly think of in your head that's trending right now and if you can apply it and you can apply it to a design for february 29th do it okay that is one way to rank on these front pages and then obviously you know running ads Stuff like that is good too as well, but being one of those first people on the front page or, or, or on Amazon, right? Or, you know, on Amazon, being one of those first people with that one saying is one way to get the first sell. And then once you get that first sell, you get a second sell, third sell, more, more people see it. That's how you're going to rank on the front page. So you have to figure that self, figure that out on your own in order for you to be successful and have a top selling design for many years to come. Okay, and that applies to pretty much anything on Amazon.com. Just keep that in mind. And watch this next video right here where I actually came up with this video I or this niche idea, right? And I went over it over here and I found it. And you can see the way that I found different types of niches on Amazon.com.